Hello, Daz community. This is Not From This World, and I want to welcome you to my tutorial series. Now, today I thought I would show you an add-on that I have recently started playing with called Decimator. And the reason why I thought I would show this to you is because Decimator is now highly discounted on Daz Studio. So as you can see, Decimator is usually a hundred dollars, but it is marked down eighty-eight dollars down to fourteen. You might wonder what the heck am I gonna do with this decimator add-on? Well, I gotta tell you that it's kind of handy for several instances. And I want to show you how we can use decimator to save time in setting up a scene. Now what Decimator does is it reduces the number of polygons in your character without messing up its rigging and surfaces. The weight maps are going to be intact and you can reduce down your character's polygons so you can pose her easier and you can also use this to add multiple characters into a scene. If you have a large scene where you have a bunch of characters, you can add the decimator to those characters to move them around and then reset it for rendering. I think the, the biggest challenge for me with decimator is remembering to go back to the high resolution when I'm getting ready to render. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take Milica here and just to show you her polygons, we're going to go to the wire texture shaded option and we're going to see all of her polygons. Now the dark squares are her actual polygons and then you'll notice that she's got different kind of lighter colored squares that are her subsurface modifiers. And if we click on Milica, I'm just going to click on her entire body. We can go to mesh resolution in the parameters tab under the general tab and we can see that her resolution level right now is at high resolution and we can change that. We can go to basic and you'll notice that gets rid of the subsurface modifiers. This will make her easier to move around but it also makes her more basic if we render her this way. So it's often good to to switch your mesh resolution to base when you are setting up your scene. You just have to remember to come back into this and go back to high resolution when you're ready to render. Now the high resolution is going to give you more detail. You can render with the base resolution. You're just not going to have as much detail on your figure. So I always try and go to high resolution. Now of course we get into that whole process of what about render times. If you do high resolution you're going to have longer render times. So, you know, everything in Daz Studio is a balance, right? So we're going to be balancing, trying to set up the character and the speed of setting her up. And then we've got to deal with the speed of rendering. I personally always render under high resolution. If you need some tips on how to render faster, I've got some other videos that touch on that a little bit. It is trial and error for sure. But... In the case of Decimator, what Decimator is going to do is it's going to reduce these number of polygons below the base number. So I can shrink these down even more with the Decimator. So let's play around and give this a shot. Now once I upload Decimator, I can find it in the window pane and I'm just going to go down to where it says Decimator. It's right here. So I can click on that and then I'm going to get a little tab. Let's open this tab up and it's going to say prepare to decimate. We're going to click on that and then it's going to run through some configurations and it's going to modify our character. So you can see that now she has kind of weird looking polygons. 
Now within Decimator, I'm just gonna kind of move this to the side so we can see Milica. We have several options here. So our resolution percentage, we can decrease the polygons with this. So it's set at 100%. We can decrease it to let's say 50%. So this is gonna eliminate the polygons down to 50%. All right, so you can just see it changed changed Milica's polygons. And if you keep going down, you can go down to, let's say even 20%, and we start getting some weirdo looks to our character because the polygons are shrinking down. If we go all the way down to zero, she is like this freak. We wanna be careful in how we set this up. However, this is a great way to kinda set up the scene because now I can move her around a lot easier. Now, I only have Milica in this scene, and so this is not like a scene that's going to be difficult to move. However, you know, if I select part of her and I have the decimator enabled, I'm gonna be able to move around the scene hopefully a lot easier. This might get rid of some of those issues that I've had in some other videos where my character is frozen. So if my character is frozen and you're really having a hard time navigating around Daz Studio, decreasing the resolution percent of your character or characters, it can really help you with moving around your characters. So what's really cool about this is once I have this set, like let's set this back up to 50%. Once I have that, if I go to my parameters tab and select Milica again, you're gonna notice that under mesh resolution, I'm going to have this extra tab below base where we have decimator working. So now, I can choose base, I can choose high resolution, and I can also choose that decimator selection that I created. So this is really cool. You just have to remember to change back to high resolution before you render. If you render under decimator, it's gonna render her in the percentage that she has. Now what's really cool about Decimator also is we can decimate any object that is included on our character. So for Milica here, I have her hair. So this is HSCB hair. If I go to my Decimator tab, I can reduce the hair. Now this is going to perhaps make it a lot easier to navigate when we have a frozen character because of hair, you can go into the resolution percentage for her hair and change that. We also have the polygons for what she's wearing. So she's got like this kind of sexy uh, lingerie on and we can decimate each one of her clothing items. See, I have the corset, the panty, the stockings, the necklace, all of this we can now decimate. So if you are having trouble uh, moving your characters around, the decimator may be the solution to this. If we don't wanna decimate the percentage of resolution, we can also choose how many polygons our character is gonna have. So right now, Milica has over 200 and 55,000 polygons. If we wanted to select that, we could reduce it down to 5,000, for example, and you can see it's gonna greatly change, and well, with 5,000, it really messes her up. But we can choose how many polygons, and I guess this is important if you are creating a game or something that has a certain amount of polygons that are allowed, you can reduce it to whatever the amount of polygons you so desire. So that is pretty cool. One of the neatest things about this is the 
decimator can really help you out if you have a lower powered computer. Um, my computer, I have added RAM to it, so it has 64 gigs of RAM. And so I have a pretty powerful computer when it comes to RAM, so I can move my character around uh, pretty easily, even with a higher resolution polygon. If you have a lower RAM, you can decimate your character and use that character a lot easier with posing and such, and then just go back to higher resolution before you render. All right, so I think this is pretty cool. You should pick this up. I mean, it's $14 with um, your Daz Studio subscription. So 88% off was a hundred over a hundred dollars. Check it out. It's pretty cool. I am most interested to see if I can use decimator in background characters. I haven't tried this yet, but perhaps keep them in a lower resolution. You know, maybe if you have your depth of focus at your character and then you have characters behind that character, you can decimate them, leave them decimated for rendering. So I'm still playing around a little bit with Decimator, but because it's on sale, I thought this would be a really good time to promote it and show you a little bit about it. You know what's kind of cool about these videos is I can take these add-ons, I can play with them, I can look at them, and then I can show you them so you can have an idea of what you may want to purchase. So it might be time to pick up Decimator and start playing with it. I'm really anxious also to open up some of my previous scenes that I've been having trouble with and seeing if Decimator allows me to move my characters a little bit easier. Hey, that about wraps it up for today. I'm going to get back to texture mode. We're going to render up some pictures of Milica here because she's looking pretty good this week. I'm going to go back to high resolution. And until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and give me a few comments. What do you think about Decimator? Have you used it? Have you tried manipulating certain characters? I'd really like to know. So drop me a line, and I'll see you next time.